right. How you doing, buddy? Good. Brendan, Brendan. Here you go. I'm just going to shut this audio off, okay, because there's audio in the room here, just so yeah. you know. Okay. Um, I just wanted to just go over this real quick again. You remember these rights, your Miranda rights that I read you? Yeah. Um, you still want to talk to us? Yeah. Okay. Just wanted to make sure of that. Brenda, I want you to, to relax, okay? Um, a little more comfortable here and stuff. And what we like to be, you had a couple days since we last talked now, which was Monday, and you had a chance to reflect and breathe, I imagine, just, and we, um, I got more, okay. and, uh, I kind of call it, it's a sense to briefing in a way, you know, just let you talk to us a little, and, um, and, and we've had also a chance for two days now to look at what you said and, and listen to, to tapes a little and stuff like that. And, you know, we look at that and we say, well, you know, Brendan gave us, honestly gave us this information, this information, that information, maybe I'll call them dots or whatever. And some of the dots, when we look at it, say, well, I think we need some matching up here, just a little tightening up or something. We, we feel that, that maybe, I think Mark and I both feel that maybe there's some, some more that you could tell us. Um, that you may have held back for whatever reasons, and I don't want to assure you that Mark and I are both are in your corner, we're on your side, and you did tell us yourself that one of the reasons you hadn't come forward yet was because you were afraid, you were scared, and, and one of the reasons you were scared was that you would be implicated in this, or people would say that you helped or did this, mm -hmm. okay, and that you might get arrested and stuff like that, okay? And we understand that. One of the best ways to, to, to prove to us, or more importantly, you know, the courts and stuff, is that you tell the whole truth. Don't leave anything out. Don't make anything up because you're trying to cover something up a little. Um, and even if those statements are against your own interest, you know what I mean? That that makes you might it may, might make you look a little bad, or make you look like you were more involved than you want to be uh, looked at. Um, it's hard to do, but it's good from that vantage point to say, hey, there's no doubt you're telling the truth because you've now given the whole story. You've even given points where it didn't look real good for you either. And I don't know if I, if you, are you understanding what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And and that's why we kind of came here to let you talk a little, maybe get some stuff off your mind or chest if you need to, and then to tell us the whole truth, to take us through this whole thing that happened on Monday, not leaving anything out, not adding anything in, because Mark and I looked at looked at the tapes, looked at the notes. And it's real obvious there's some places where some things were left out or maybe changed just a bit to, to maybe looking at yourself to protect yourself a little. Um. So where are these audio recordings from the Fox Hills interview that they're reviewing and the notes they took? They claim that the recording equipment did not work. You notice when they get in the room they turn their recorder off that they have because the room is bugged. 